The Legend of Zoro has returned! What is up everybody, it's your boy R2 and today we're going to be talking about a very personal and one of my favorite characters growing up, Zoro. This news is a little late, this dropped a while back ago on Heroic Hollywood via El Mayimbe and he dropped that a new Zoro film is in development and it will be written and directed by Jonas Curon who co-wrote Gravity. It will begin principal photography in this summer 16. Now I'm really hopeful and excited, I really haven't seen Gravity or any of his work, but he has recently directed and written Desierto. That film won the International Critics Award at the 2015 Toronto International Film Festival. Now I'm really excited, the title for this movie is called Z. That's about it, nothing too creative, just Z. Cause really the previous two Zora films took like the best names. The Master Zoro, one of my favorite films ever growing up and currently now, and the Legend of Zoro. Like really, they took the best names from this and all they really got is Z, they could have called it El Zorro, but we'll just have to wait and see about that. Now of course, if I had to choose who would play the fox himself, Zorro, I would choose Oscar Isaac, really. I think he can bring some seriousness to this role, because really, like I said before, El Zorro stands for fox. And I think it would work well now that we're in this uh, superhero genre type age, because Zoro is a, a superhero. He fights for the poor and and he fights the rich, you know. But really, it's just Zoro, you know, he stands up for the people. He is the people's champion. Now, of course, I've been wanting, I've been pitching for a new Zoro film. And, of course, my dream cast, my fantasy team for a new Zoro film would have been written, directed by Quentin Tarantino, the man himself, starred as Oscar Isaac still, and then the sequel would have been a Django and Zoro team-up movie because there recently is a comic written, I believe, by Quentin Tarantino called Django and Zoro, which is them teaming up together, I guess, or fighting each other. I haven't read it yet, but it looks awesome. And I just would have loved that, man. I felt Quentin Tarantino could have done wonders with an El Zoro movie. And since he, he's basically writing El Zoro in the Django and Zoro comic. You guys excited about this news? Have you been wanting a new Z movie? I know I sure have. Now, I didn't really remember Legend of Zora. I never remembered if it was good or not. But now, you know, I kind of look back to it. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of so far from the mass of Zora. You got Anthony Hopkins. You got Antonio Banderas at his best. And you got Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh. Then they kind of have a son in the Legend of Zoro, And he's kind of like the main, one of the main characters there. And it's just, it, it's weird. It doesn't really work out as, as well. But yeah, if I was going to cast a love interest, you know, for Oscar Isaac in El Zora movie. I'm, I don't know. I'd probably pick Selena Gomez or something. You know, something... I don't know. She kind of looks like Catherine Zeta jones in her youth. Um, she's still as beautiful as ever, though. But are you guys excited for Z? It's been your boy, R2, reminding you to stay nerdy, my friends.